G Donuts here with the Arm Italian 6SBLX V3 after its first run. Uh, ran it about 12-13 minutes on the uh, 45C 4 cell, 5000 milliamp. Recorded about half of that. No breakage uh, to speak of, just a few good scratches from a couple tumbles. Did tweak one rear wheel just, just a little bit. Still runnable. The body itself, no cracks or breakage anywhere. A few hairline scratches you can see. That actually will probably just buff out if I cared to do so. Right on the uh, roof here. Most of the damage seems to take place on this guy right here where the uh, front shock towers are. Right underneath the front hood. And then the upper rear tips of the wings. These are pretty chewed up already. But again, no breakage. The plastic is pretty pretty soft and pliable. I was going to tape the underside of this before the first run, but just got impatient, so I didn't. Um, I'll be doing that now. But, uh, let me set that body aside. Uh, one thing I was kind of a little bit surprised about with it uh, was the motor temperature. It, it did get qu quite a bit warmer than I thought it would have gotten with just the stock 13 tooth pinion in it. Uh, it was every bit of 130 degrees, and I'd say it probably wasn't more than 75, 80 degrees outside when I was running it. Um, you know, nothing ex extreme, but didn't expect to get quite as warm as it did. So in another video, I'll be posting a, a few upgrades that I am planning on doing, one, one of which is installing a cooling fan kit on that motor, because at some point here uh, in the near future, also we'll be bumping up to a 16 tooth pinion and then probably in that same upgrade video i've already got another set of wheels and tires picked out for it uh, just for general bashing around i'll save the original wheel and tire here for any speed runs or more on road that i end up doing with it uh, no big cleaning with it really other than just giving it the uh, air compressor treatment you know so there's a little a little light dust on it it's pretty sandy where we are so you know I don't think I'm gonna be able to go the full 10 runs that Arma recommends to tear the uh, the dog bones and drives it back apart and cleaning out the bearings it's probably gonna be more like every four or five runs with as much sand as we've got around here uh, is it already pretty pretty gritty in there even though I've blasted everything out as much as can be with the uh, with the air compressor uh, I think also just for general driving around and bashing, since I'm not going to be running it on any tracks, uh, the uh, turn in was a little, little bit sharper than I'd like, so I'm probably going to adjust the toe in on the front just a little bit. And when I get up to somewhere between 15 and 20 packs in, I'll, I'll take the, the diffs apart on it. I, I think I'm going to leave the... Uh, the 10,000 weight in the rear and the way it was driving with the uh, 100,000 in the center I liked but I'll probably bump the front up to 20 or 30,000 also. Um, other than that, it had a couple of tumbles. Um, some scraping and a little, little bit of a even almost a gouge here on the back of the chassis here. And oh yeah, a little disclaimer, I did add one little minor upgrade even before the first run this rpm skid plate on the rear which it already has a couple of good gouges in it so it's already doing its job for just a eight or nine dollar piece of plastic so that i liked uh, you know this this is kind of a cosmetic really i mean it's bound to get scratched up on the underside of the chassis i, I also have a i probably would have gone with rpm for for a front bumper slash skid if they were available but uh, i've got a t-bone one on order but again i'll probably just do a separate video on that with the upgrades yeah that's pretty much it um really impressed with it the way it drove really really super stable it was really pretty hard to upset it uh it had to hit the right bump just just right to get it to uh flip over no traction rolling even even on hard packed pavement no traction rolling at all. 
It was only on just uneven terrain that was occasionally able to upset it. So that's it for now.